Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, here is Julia, the Raging Panda Avila! Sports and athletic movement all throughout my childhood, all throughout my adult life, has been the way that I've been able to communicate with people. It's the gift that God gave me and it's the way that I can inspire others. And so uh, I learned that from a really, really young age and I learned that in my childhood and I learned that um, growing up and I've fostered it ever since. Sports is really what made sense to me. It's for a large part of my life, the only way that I could communicate and the only way I knew how to communicate. When I was 12 years old, living and growing up in California. Um, in California, you're allowed to get, take in your recycling to get money. And um, for me, that's how I made money. I would collect the cans and at the end of the week, I'd put it in. Um, and I knew I wanted a punching bag. And so I worked really, really hard all summer, um, drinking a lot of soda <laughs> and um, not that much stuff. But I was collecting cans and the way that they do it is by weight. And so I remember stuffing rocks on the inside of the cans and um, filling them, the water bottles up with water. Um, and I went in with my bucket of cans and the guys, they weighed it and they're like, that's not right. And then, um, but they saw that I really wanted the money and I explained to them that I was gonna buy a punching bag <laughs> and hang it up because I really want to learn how to box. And so they, I think they felt pity on me and I still have that bag to this day. It's covered in blood and sweat and it's uh, a little century bag like this big and it's 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 a reminder to never give up even if no one believes in you just kept winning <laughs> and it felt really good. Um, I beat a lot of the right people at the right time. Hey guys, I'm in the hospital. I'm doing fine. Um, if they were up to me, they would just cut off the finger and I would keep fighting. But uh, this is what happened. Um, I'm sorry, and, um, I'll be back soon. Literally had no reception, got up to the mountain, got a UFC fight offer. Go figure. We'll be back soon.
ready to continue making history and continue solidifying my name in the UFC and in the history books. Um, but I'm no stranger to losing. I'm no stranger to coming back from the ashes. I just love the sport. I love competing. Like I said, it's the only way that I knew how to communicate, that I knew how to be something that's bigger than me. Wait till you see the inside. I got kicked out of my gym and I was lost. We had to open up our own gym and, and it's just so amazing what we've done and the lives that I've influenced and I've helped. I'm just so happy. I decided to start a family. And throughout my entire career, I knew I wanted to be a mother. Former Bantamweight champ Misha Tate is back to face number 13 ranked Julia Avila. This one is gonna be fun. Let it be known, I could still fight. To touch the gloves that were underway, <laughs> Julia Avila is in the black, sizable favorite as I mentioned. Gina Mazzani with a quick left hand is the underdog. That's smart. Get, get in there, you know, get in oh. Avila's face, but she loves it, man. She is not going to shy away. Oh, my oh, goodness. Avila. Rapid fire. Oh, she's she's here, back, Gina. Fight back. She's Gina got cover up. She's got the play. Oh, that's it. Wow. We can't get past a minute. Jeez. Julia Avila, the raging panda, gets it done.